Hey everyone, this is Alex for Polymomo Tea, and today I have a video showing how to make this cute and spooky hourglass from my Sophie and Toffee Elves box. And this is everything that I received in this month's subscription box. So for the first step is I poured the two part resin into equal amounts and mixed it together. And since the theme was cute and spooky for this month's box, I decided to mix some pastel colors for my base. And once it was all mixed, I poured it into my mold and let it cure for 24 hours. And I made two bases. One was a pink color and one was a light blue color. Next, I'm gonna pour some thick UV resin onto the base and I'm gonna place the hourglass in there and then let that cure under the UV lamp. And I'm gonna do that with the other side and that's just gonna hold the hourglass to the base really well. Then I'm gonna place a little gold ring onto the holes of the base along with a chain and close that up. And I'm gonna connect that to the other side of the base as well. So next we're gonna make the clay detail. So I took some pink clay and rolled it into a ball and I got a piece of pink clay and cut out a little rectangular shape. And we are making a skull right now. So we're gonna blend that rectangle onto the ball of pink clay. And then using my dotting tool, I'm gonna roll out two giant ovals. And then inside those ovals, we're gonna place some purple clay inside and then we'll just make the details a little bit more using the dotting tool again. And then on the rectangular part, I'm adding three little snakes of clay. And then two little dots for the nostrils. So next we have a pumpkin. So I took some orange clay and I rolled into a ball and flattened it slightly. And then I'm making indents around the pumpkin. Think of it as cutting it into like six pieces, like a pizza. And then I just made the indents a little bit more accentuated with my tool. And I also made a dot in the middle of our pumpkin. And so we're going to take some pink clay and roll it into a cone shape. And we're going to cut off the ends. And we're going to place that in the little hole that we made. This will be the little stalk of the pumpkin. And then using our dotting tool, we're just going to make some markings just to give it a little bit of texture. And then on top of our pumpkin, we're going to add some triangles and a moon shape for the face. Next up, we're going to make our cauldron. So I'm going to take a ball of purple clay and roll it flat on one side. Then I'm going to take the same purple clay and roll into a thick cylinder and cut it into three equal pieces. And these will be the legs of the cauldron. And we're going to place that on the bottom into a triangular formation. Then on top of the flat side of the cauldron, we're going to take a piece of green clay that's been flattened into a pancake shape and place it on top. And then we're going to roll another thin snake of purple clay. And we're going to use that snake of clay to wrap around the little green pancake on top. And we're going to cut off the excess and blend that together. And then we're going to place little dots of green clay around kind of to form the bubbles. And of course we got to give it some dot eyes and a line smile. Next we're going to make the little ghost. So I have some mint clay and I rolled it into a 3D teardrop shape and I bent it on one side and I gave it two purple dot eyes and a line frown. Then I baked the pieces in the oven according to instructions and here I have the clay pieces all baked and I made some extra pumpkins using the same steps I did for the jack-o'-lantern. So just for extra detail, I took this sheet of spooky stuff and I cut it out.
and I place it on top of a silicone mold and I poured resin on top of it just to give it a nice doming and I cured it under the UV lamp and I have my little detailed pieces right here. So next we're going to use all of our little pieces that we made and we're going to decorate our hourglass. So I just decided to super glue all of them onto my hourglass and I had to make sure that they were completely dried because once I finished one side, I flipped it over and I decorated the other. And the little resin pieces that we made, I put some super glue on the back and I attached them to the chains. And I kind of did that with all four chains. And here is the completed piece. I have all my little spooky components on there and I want to incorporate my own version of spooky and cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you want to be for Halloween because that's coming up soon. Thank you.